We have a problem that asks about a population. They start out with 700,000 people. They grow at a rate of 3% per year, and they want to know how many people will be there in 25 years. So this is a classic exponential growth problem. And basically, an exponential function is when you take some initial amount, you multiply it by the same number over and over and over, and you get out your final amount. And so all exponential functions are in this form, y equals a b to the x, where a is your initial amount, it's how many you started with, b is your growth rate, this is the number you multiply by over and over and over, and x is the time. So in our example, we have an initial amount of 700,000 people, we have a growth rate of 3% and we have a time of 25 years. So how do we set this up? Well, 700,000 goes in for A and then we're going to multiply that by some number every year. Now, if you can imagine, I don't multiply it by 3%, right? Because it's not like I start out with 700 people and the next year I have... 3% of that, which is 0 0.03. Remember, sorry, my pen doesn't like to always catch what I'm trying to put down there. There we go. We wouldn't have 3% of that. We have 103% of that amount, right? We have 100% of the people we started with. So we have this, this entire group of people that was 700,000 people. And then we add in another 3% so that we have 100% plus 3% more. So now we have 103% of people that we had before. And how do we write 103 as a decimal? Well, we move the decimal place two spots right there. And we have 1.03. That's 103% as a decimal. So that's how we find our growth rate here. Um, this growth rate of 1.03 comes from 100% plus the 3% growth. Um, some people like to think about it this way. They like to think of 1 plus the growth rate, which is 0 0.03 which is 1.03. Now, of course, if this would be decay, it would be minus, right? If we were if we were losing 3%, we would subtract that 3%. But in this case, we're adding. Uh, so here we have uh, 700,000 people um, growing at 103% per year or growing at 3% per year. So we're multiplying by 103%. And then our time for this one, we're going to put in 25 years. So 25 years right there, okay? And so then all we do is we do this in our calculator. And the, the key to this is making sure you remember order of operations. So order of operations tells us that we need to do exponents. If I can erase all that, just doesn't want to erase. We need to do exponents before we do multiplication. So what we're going to do is we're going to do these exponents here before we do our multiplication. So in your calculator, you're going to type 1.03 to the 25th power, and you're gonna figure out that that equals um, 1.03 to the 25th power gives us 2.09-ish, right? And we're not gonna round it, we're gonna leave that in our calculator. And then after we've done that, now we're gonna multiply it by the 700,000, okay? So make sure that you do that order of operations properly, and when you multiply that by 700,000, you get, uh, one, four, six, five, six, four, four point five, five, one. Okay, so that is one million four hundred sixty-five thousand six hundred forty-four point five. Now, can we have point five of a person? No, we can't. Right. So most of the time, your teacher is going to ask you to round that up. So we're going to round this up. We're going to take this five, and we're going to change it round that up to that because we cannot have part of a person. So there you go.